third person has died after a driver plowed into a crowd of people at South by Southwest in Austin. Jessica Vess has been following the story and brings us the latest. Good afternoon. Her name is Sandy Lee. People are already sending condolences to her family online. Her friend spoke with us earlier this morning and they tell us family was surrounded by her side when she passed at the hospital. The driver in that crash is in jail right now. Rashad Owens is charged with capital murder, which carries a death penalty sentence. The 21 year old is scheduled to appear in court in about three weeks on April 9th. He's being held right now on a $3 million bond. Austin Police Chief Ardell Cevedo said Owens intentionally steered toward a crowd of people on Thursday while trying to escape an officer during a traffic stop. Court papers show his blood alcohol level was over the legal limit at .114. Three people now have died from their injuries in that crash. More than 20 others suffered injuries. Six are still in the hospital. One remains in critical condition at UMC Brackenridge. Two others are in fair condition and another two are in good condition. An 18-year-old student from Liberty Hill in the Austin area remains at St. David's Medical Center in fair condition. Memorials for all the victims continue in Fort Worth at Trimble Tech High, where two of those victims attended school. Friends and alumni hosted a vigil just last night. They say senior Tish Davis and graduate Dre Tatum are among those victims recovering. Davis has a broken leg and dozens of stitches. Tatum is in that medically induced coma. Another tribute is being planned right now for another victim who died in that crash. Stephen Cranemeyer was from the Netherlands in Austin for South by. On Thursday, his brothers are coming to Austin for his remains. His community says they are planning a concert tribute in his honor for when they return. As for the latest victim, Sandy Lee, her friends created a fundraising page online to help her family cover those medical expenses. As of right now, more than $6,000 have been donated. Jessica Vest, Kins 5 Eyewitness News.